One of the challenges for TGCT is that initially it can be difficult to recognize on account of symptoms. The presentation can be very uh, easily confused with much more common conditions such as arthritis. Typical um, symptoms include uh, swelling, pain, loss of mobility in a joint. And you can see how that would not be easy to, to recognize from a variety of other more common conditions that cause uh, uh, those similar symptoms. What we know is that patients often go for, for multiple different evaluations to see multiple different types of physicians, typically, typically beginning with a primary care physician. Uh, they may go to see a, a rheumatologist, often ending up with either a sports medicine physician or an orthopedic surgeon. But uh, it, it can be difficult to recognize as a condition until uh, more definitive testing is done. And that's when the diagnosis is typically made. The patient journey often um, goes from, as I mentioned, from uh, a variety of, of different um, primary care and, and specialists until somebody comes to a, an orthopedist and then either at the time, either an MRI will, will have characteristic findings that suggest TGCT, or at the time of surgery where there's an excision and actually the, uh, the surgical specimen shows that, that it is TGCT. Once that diagnosis is made, the diagnosis is pretty conclusive. That, that diagnosis is typically made by uh, an orthopedic uh, a surgeon. However, our, our understanding is that since many of these patients will require more follow-up, sometimes a good course is to have them refer to a multidisciplinary team. And that multidisciplinary team might include um, orthopedic oncologists, medical oncologists, orthopedic nursing, rehabilitation specialists. Again, we're talking about for the minority of patients where, where a simple surgical excision is not going to be curative. But in, in, in those situations, referral to a multidisciplinary team is a good recommendation and is actually a recommendation that is uh, supported by the NCCN.